A 45 year old man presents to our clinic with complaints of weight loss, frequent urination, increased thirst and appetite. His father had similar symptoms who was on metformin for last 7 years. Basically, his father was a known case of diabetes mellitus. Now clinician wants to check his sugar level and lab technician has collected his blood sample in the given tube. Okay, this tube. This sample tube has one agent that ensures that further breakdown of glucose will not happen so that accurate level of glucose can be estimated. Which of the following is the right statement related to the scenario? Okay, first of all, look at the picture. Look at this blood sample, blood sample collection tube. This is a gray color. Okay, we are using gray color. We are using gray color for sugar sugar test why let's understand suppose if we are going to use a plain tube red color tube where there is no ingredient if we are going to collect blood sample here and after that blood sample will be sent to lab which is half an hour far from here now there can be oxidation so see here see the time when we withdrawn the blood at that time sugar level can be different but after a few minutes yes there can be glycolysis and because of that there can be further further more glycolysis right there can be breakdown of sugar right now so you will not be able to measure the accurate level of sugar that's why we are using a special tube gray color tube where there is a special ingredient first of all sodium oxalate or citrate this is anti-clotting but there is a special ingredient which is added so that there should be no glycolysis see what is the final product of glucose okay pyruvate but second last enzyme which is called as enol enolase which is called as enolase if i block this enzyme with any other chemical so do you think we can stop the glycolysis yes so we are adding sodium fluoride in gray tube sodium fluoride will block enolase enzyme so that there should be no further glycolysis easy to understand i hope all these points are clear to everyone now see here these color tubes very very important see here red color tube which is called the plain tube which is called the plain tube here which test okay for serum analysis we can use okay like uh, we can use for the liver function kidney function test what about the purple color see here edita chelating agent will be uh, like will be there sodium citrate will also be there as an anti-clotting agent and this we are using for a cbc cbc even for the blood grouping blood matching hemoglobin purple color what about gray color this is especially for sugar what about a sky blue color this is for blood clotting profile this is for blood clotting profile okay now what about green color this is for bone marrow aspiration studies bone marrow aspiration studies now what about yellow color this is for blood culture and black color we are using for esr please remember okay so related to blood sample collection tubes so many times they have asked the question this is important topic <laughs>